New at 10, more than two weeks after an Iranian airstrike at a military base with U.S. troops inside, the Pentagon now confirms that 34 American troops suffered traumatic brain injuries. That is more than triple the original estimate and comes just days after President Trump referred to the injuries as headaches. That comment is drawing criticism from a Valley combat vet who suffered a traumatic brain injury more than a decade ago. Team 12's Nicole Zymek joins us live from the Alert Center, Center with his survival story. Nicole. Guys, this has been a long road for Patrick, and one group tells us that this highlights just how underestimated and misunderstood the seriousness of traumatic brain injuries can be. This is all that remains of the Al-Assad Air Base in Iraq. More than a dozen Iranian ballistic missiles destroying most of it. I mean, I can understand what those folks have been going through. Patrick Ziegert is a retired combat veteran. He suffered a traumatic brain injury in an ambush attack in 2005. It had enough force to knock me down through the turret and on the floor of the Humvee. I was disoriented. I'm not sure if I lost consciousness at the time. After the Iranian airstrike attacks earlier this month, President Trump initially reported no injuries. Nobody was hurt, nobody was killed. But now, the Pentagon confirms 34 service members suffered concussions and traumatic brain injuries, or TBIs, which President Trump downplayed. I heard that they had headaches and a couple of other things, but I would say, uh, and I can report, it is not very serious. Depending on the severity of the injury, TBIs can range from headaches to vomiting and slurred speech. Traumatic brain injury is more than just a headache. It's something that can seriously impact a person's life over the next one, two, even 15 years. It can vary. I mean, a lot of people have cognitive issues. They have a hard time focusing. They have a hard time making, like, relationships with things that they see. That's why veterans like Patrick take offense to the president's comments. Calling a traumatic brain injury a headache is like calling a compound fracture or leg cramp, quite frankly. And the Brain Injury Alliance of Arizona hopes this story helps raise awareness of TBIs and encourages more people to seek help. Check out the 12 News app. You'll find details on symptoms as well as a link to the group. In the newsroom, Nicole Zymek, 12 News.